Welcome back to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to keep coin in your treasure chest, just with simple fixes. Uh, if you dig what we're doing, hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell, and that way when a new video drops, which is every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll be notified and hopefully get another tip on how you can save some coin. Now, we've already showed you uh, in another, another video, part one, if your garbage disposal just stops working how you can check to see if uh, there's something you can do to fix it real quick. On this video, we're going to show you if the garbage disposal is working, but the water is backed up and it seems to be stopped up. It won't drain no matter how much you turn it on, how long you let it run. We're going to show you how you can fix that. So let's go over to our sink. We'll go down underneath. And if you've ever had this problem, drop me a comment below and you know let us know what you did to fix it, what caused the clog. I can tell you in our house, the two biggest culprits in clogging up the sink drain uh, through the garbage disposal is going to be potato peelings and spaghetti. You can tell I like me starch. Let's go below deck. All right, so I've artificially stopped this up because our garbage disposal was okay. But if you have standing water, and even in running the garbage disposal, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work or if your drain from your uh, dishwasher happens to go into this side and every time the dishwasher comes on it's pushing sediment up that means you've got a clog or even a partial clog so water sediment we're gonna fix it so this is going to be a fairly standard setup uh, underneath any double sink uh, kitchen sink this is where your garbage disposal is this is where it comes in this is where the drain is from the other side of the sink and it comes into here and if you're getting water up into both sides of the sink then chances are it's going to be down here and this is this is called a p-trap and this is usually where it's going to back up sometimes it will back up in here but it's best to just take a look at all of it so with PVC it just comes off it's only finger tight so we'll take this one loose first and you want to put a, a, a bucket or you know something underneath here to catch the water because <laughs> mateys it's going to get messy and then we'll take it loose from back here and here comes our water This just comes off like this. Then you want to look into here, and if you see, you know, some types of sediment that's in there that's that's blocking it, you can just knock it out. Maybe you want to take it outside and knock it against the side of the house. Um, you can take a screwdriver, pliers, whatever, and make sure you get that all cleaned out. Now, once we've done this. There's a couple other things I always like to do just as, a, as preventive maintenance. So I'm going to take this loose over here from the right side sink. And then I'm also going to take it loose from the garbage disposal. And I'm just going to look in there and see if I've got any stuff that's building up and I'll clean that out and then <clears throat> you want to see in here too if you've got underneath here any stuff in that case you want to take this loose pull all of that out and then just clean it out just give it a good cleaning you can use the hose outside to spray in here and uh, and get it all cleaned out but that this will take care of your problem so when we put it back together put it back together just like it came apart but I don't I don't like to tighten it up all the way only because there's so many joints here that have to line up so I'll get that pushed up put this back on push it up as you can see sometimes it doesn't like to line up so you might have to move it a little bit there's a beveled edge in there. 
So once that beveled edge seats, now as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that little ring. Uh, this is a seal, and it's pushed up a little bit. Now you can see that we've got this put in, and it's pretty stable. So what we want to do is just push that down with our fingers, get it to seat. Put that down, and then we have the same thing here. And we just tighten everything back up. Then, of course, the first thing you want to do is turn on, turn on your water before you get rid of the bucket, just in case something didn't seal correctly. So that's going to save you some coin from calling a plumber, and that 99% of the time is going to take care of the clog. In a future video, we'll show you what happens if it gets clogged beyond here, and we have to go into the drain system, but that'd be for another time. So that pretty much takes care of what you need to do if it gets clogged up. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit the subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell. That way, anytime a new video drops, which is every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get notified about how to save even more coin for your treasure chest. And be sure to leave comments if there's other things that you've done uh, that have worked just as well. If there's things that you want to see, let's say there's something that didn't cover here and you say, hey, but what if this happens? Drop a comment below. Till next time, here's the smooth sailing.